My name is Steven. This is my fellow increment Elijah. Hi, my name is Elijah Perlin. And Hi, my name is Gary Nelson. And today we're here to talk to you about the Bosnian genocide. Now, we're gonna start out by talking a little bit of history here. Now, the a little bit of background of Yugoslavia, which is the country that this took place in. And you'll see why it's called the Bosnian Genocide in a few moments. But basically, the country was made of mainly Serbians, Croatians, Bosnians, and Bosniak Muslims who were grouped into Bosnians. They'll become a little bit more important as we go on. The main problem was that there wasn't one major ruler in place who had all the power. There were there was one ruler to represent each of the major races in Yugoslavia. Now, at the time, Yugoslavia was a communist nation, and not everybody liked that. So that's when the Yugoslav Republic of Bosnia-Herzegovina, which was a de de democratic government, was formed. And they declared independence from the Federal People's Republic of Yugoslavia, which was the communist nation. Now, after this happened, the Serbian president Slobodan Milosevic was not happy about this. So he, uh, he used the Serbian army and the Yugoslav army, which was mostly uh, dominated by Serbians, to uh, systematically wipe out all the Bosniak Muslims and the Croatian civilians. At this point, the UN and NATO just joined the war effort and the UN was mainly to uh, help provide civilian aid, but then NATO was helping to drive back the Serbian forces. And uh, they were backing the Yugoslav Republic of Bosnia-Herzegovina, which was the democratic side. Now at one point during this war, the Serbian, uh, the Serbian army group attacked an UN safe zone, which uh, in which se between 7,000 and 8,000 Bosniak Muslims were died, dur died during the siege. Shortly after the siege, though, the peace agreement was reached between the Re Yugoslav Republic of Bosnia-Herzegovina and the Federal People's Republic of Yugoslavia, which ended in the Federal People's Republic of Yugoslavia losing. And shortly thereafter, the ICTY, which was <laughs> the trial for the war crimes that happened during the um, during the Bosnian War, it was the first international trial since the Nuremberg trials after World War II. 